All right, everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to cover the other way to make functions uh, in Excel in MATLAB, and that is using the function handle, or what's also called the anonymous function approach. Uh, this is very convenient and actually can be done really fast. And I think in some cases it's more preferred in when you do want something very simple and very fast to do. But it often t can also be uh, less powerful than the M file function because the M file is a script that you can create a very long complicated function and have it save and edit appropriately that way uh, and you can copy and share it with other people email it and you have uh, functions that you can create and kind of create a library of them with the anonymous functions you can embed them in existing scripts and create them but once you shut down MATLAB or once you clear the workspace that function is gone so the general form of that in the, in the uh, function handle the anonymous function approach is you will type in the name of the function and I'm going to give you an example that's a classic example and let's just say ln let's say we know help log we know that the help log is the natural logarithm but sometimes we don't like using log as our natural logarithm we like ln because it's what we know so it can actually rename and create a function called ln and make it equal to the log function so how do we do this well you say ln equals you know we're defining the name of the function equals and then we're going to specify that's going to be a function handle with the at symbol and the at symbol just tells it MATLAB now hey we're going to make a function after the at symbol MATLAB is expecting a parenthesis and the variables that are going to be called into that function in this case just one variable then we type in after immediately after that just the function that's going to be created log of x and that is it you hit enter you now have and you notice in your workspace you have a variable it's a little bit different than the other variables you see you see the value is actually this at log x and it even tells you it is a function handle and so now if we typed in ln of 5 you get the log of that function so this is great for a lot of reasons actually the function handle is really sometimes the preferred way to do f plots and otherwise because of the way um, uh, it deals with um, the output so if case of f plot if I was to say f plot I don't have to do um, I can just type in ln I don't have to do anything else because it's going to replace ln with this entire sequence here at x log x which is what it really is looking for and then I can say comma one five four plot this and you're going to get the lo function logarithmic function natural log for um, uh, ln so that's exactly how that works and you'll notice though if I did a clear command and lose that and I typed in ln of 5 it's now going to say it's undefined function or variable so it no longer knows what to do with it so realize that is the limitation to the function file but of course that was a very simple simplified example that can be much more complicated than that for example I was call one complicated and I say equals and I can say at and let's say this complicated function takes three um, uh, three inputs north south and Dennis so we have three variables it's going to take and now I can say for the complicated function I want it to be north dot times south minus Dennis dot times south plus the cosine of north yeah I have no clue why I'm doing it this way but that's what we can make that function into and so now if I just type in complicated as a function uh, one Two, three we're gonna get an answer for that bizarro thing we just made it doesn't matter in this function file what we call it here it can be X Y and Z it's just three variables it's looking for and in this function it's looking for those three variables here now note if I don't have these functions I mean it's, it's going to in this case over here look for these variables here if they're not there if I'd give another variable but it's found in this variable, variable workspace it'll still work so for example let's do CLC alright so let's consider another alternative if we're going to define 
in this case, uh, another function. Uh, we have north, south, and Dennis here, but we can actually add in another variable, Frank. Now, Frank doesn't exist in north, south, and what the calls here are, so it's just going to take it as, as is. So if I run complicated one, two, three, and run it, undefined function or variable Frank. It can't find Frank, so it doesn't know what to do. If I define Frank now, Frank is equal to five, and I run it, what's going to happen is it still can't find Frank. And the reason for this is because this function was originally created when Frank didn't exist. And so it's important to note that you can call functions, or you can call variables that are, exist outside that function, but those variables have to exist during the time when the function was created. So for example, if I clear this, and then I redefine this and say, hey, I'm telling you that complicated needs north, south, Dennis, and Frank, and then I did complicated one, two, three, it's going to finally work, and it's going to use Frank as a number that we want. Um, to, and, but if I change this now to one and five, complicated, it's still not going to take the new variable because it's taking Frank as what it was previously. So be very careful when you're defining uh, M file functions or not, and or I should say um, these function handles, uh, and not use a variable that you might want to change because that's going to have to be redefined each time you, oh, each time you are are changing that variable. So if I went back and did complicated and did Frank, and then did complicated one, two, three, you'll get the new variable with one and five being present, and you get the answer accordingly. So this is just a small taste of the kind of uh, uh, functions you can do. You can even start nesting them. So for example, if I wanted to call um, uh, simple as a function, simple is just going to be complicated, an at function, in this case it's just going to be one and x, and I'm actually going to make it a simplified complicated. In this case, it's complicated um, x comma one and two. And we'll just hit enter. And so now simple two will give me an answer that's really just, like I said, a simplified version of complicated. Now, why would this matter or where does this matter? Well, let me give you an example. If I was to do f plot of complicated complicated and I said 1 to 5. I wanted to plot out 1 to 5. I think you can kind of guess what's going to happen. <coughs> Input must be a function or functions of a single variable. It has multiple variables. It doesn't know what to plot so it just says no I'm not doing it. So you can first create a simplified complicated which is a single function now, a single variable, and plot that. And now you'll notice because there's two outputs in in what we have here, because there's two, like Frank, we're getting the two plots. But you can see that this is a way of getting those um, uh, uh, simplified ways or plotting things if you have multiple variable inputs from the anonymous function. You can do this even with a at function or with a m file function. So if you just noticed in our m file function, we had created with pressure drop, pressure drop, and in the pressure drop function, we have two variables. But let's say we just wanted to plot out one, and I'm going to make a plot versus diameter. So uh, diameter, I'm going to use diameter as our at function, at x, pressure drop, and I'm going to want a single q. 10 and x is going to be the variable I want to plot for. Now I can do f plot of diameter. It's got a single variable, so everything's so happy. You can go from a diameter of 0.1 to 5 and plot. And you can see the pressure drop goes from something crazy high and low. So, uh, and that is exactly how you can do the. Um, the uh, plot on on this uh, uh, 
using the anonymous function, function handles, and defining these things to make life simpler in MATLAB. But like I said, once you hit clear CLC, those functions at the at function complicated no longer exists. It's going to get mad, doesn't know what to do. But pressure drop even still exists even because we made it in an M file. And as long as my directory links to where that file is, it will always be there in perpetuity. Um, so with all that said, um, I think because it's becoming close to spring break, I think a good idea at this point would be to say, you know, I will give anyone who's listened to this talk before Tuesday uh, 10 bonus points on their um, on your participation grade, course participation grade, 10 points, if you can tell me the name of the variables that were used in the uh, complicated function uh, of the variables, not necessarily Frank. Exclude Frank and send me an email with the name of those, and that will be great. 10 bonus points to everyone who does that. Thanks a lot, and talk to you later.